everyone, my name is Carmen and welcome to a new slime review video. Today I'll be reviewing some store-bought slimes that I purchased from Target, Walmart, and Ross, which is a discount department store. Some of these slimes can be found on Amazon, which I have linked down below. And don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe if you enjoy my slime reviews and ASMR. Check out my Instagram and TikTok as well and stay tuned for my slime shop reopening. I purchased two slimes from each department store, so I have a total of six slimes, but some of these have sets, and in total, I have 17 slimes that I'll be reviewing today. I'll be starting off with the slimes that I purchased from Target. This first one is a Play-Doh brand slime called Crystal Crunch Gem Dazzlers. In this Play-Doh set, you get two Crystal Crunch slimes in different colors, a pink and a yellow that are both scented, and they're about a one and a half ounces each, and they come in this really cute ring pop type of container. You do have to have really tiny fingers to fit it since it only fits my pinkies, so great for small fingers or small children. The texture feels like all the other Crystal Crunch Play-Doh slimes that I felt before. They are really thick and semi-stiff Bingsu bead slime. There is enough to give it some texture, some semi-crunch, and really nice bubble pops, but it does require some extra strength to stretch it. The scent for this yellow one is a fruity pineapple. Texture-wise, it's not bad. I just wish it was stretchier, but you can soften it up with some glycerin, and I do like how it's not sticky at all. The other slime is a bright pink color. It's pretty much the same texture, so a slow stretch, semi-crunchy Bingsu bead slime. Great for bubble pops and crunchy ASMR. Again, I do wish it was stretchier. And the scent for this one, I believe, is supposed to be a cupcake. But to me, it smells like Play-Doh, which does kind of smell like a sweet baked good. In my opinion, for about $7, this slime is a decent purchase. You're kind of purchasing it for the cute containers, and since there's two of them, you can share one with a friend. The other slime that I purchased from Target is a Nickelodeon branded slime and it's called Unicorn Sparkle. It is a clear based slime with some glitter in it. It comes with rainbow beads and two unicorn charms. The clear slime is a little cloudy so it's not ultra clear but it is scented I believe. It doesn't say what scent but it does smell lightly like a sweet cookie. Texture wise it's actually a pretty great clear slime. It's super stretchy, really great for table play and bubble pops but this one one was a little sticky which really isn't a huge problem since you can actually activate it once i added in some borax solution the slime was a lot easier to play with and i actually really enjoyed it and definitely would recommend it if you have activator on hand just in case since the clear slime is a little cloudy i would suggest adding in some food coloring maybe pink or whatever color you like Next up, we have the slimes that I purchased from Walmart. This one is called Mix and Play Galactic Slime, and I have purchased different versions from Walmart. There was a unicorn one and a mermaid one, and this one is a galactic one. So of course, it is themed around the galaxy. So it comes with a bright blue ultra clear putty with some glitter throughout it. The texture of the putty isn't stretchy. It does need to be softened up, which I did soften up afterwards. And it comes with a ton of add-ins. There are silver sequins, gold stars, and beads. For such a tiny little slime, you get a lot of add-ins. So I would suggest just adding in a little bit and saving it for another slime or for any other craft project. The add-ins do give it some nice crunch when you're mixing it in. And I really like them. They are super cute and really match the theme. On the packaging, the beads are called glow beads, so I was wondering if they do glow in the dark, but I checked and they do not glow in the dark, which is a little misleading. But they do add some texture throughout the slime and kind of look like little planets. Again, the texture of the putty isn't great. It's stiff, it's not stretchy, it will rip, but if you add in some softener like glycerin, which you can use any type, you can find some on Amazon, 
it will become a much more enjoyable texture that will give you some nice crunchy ASMR like bubble pops and will become a lot stretchier. Honestly, for $5, this is a decent purchase, but you're mostly buying for the variety of add-ins and you get just a tiny little bit of slime. Next, we have the other slime that I purchased from Walmart and this is a huge set. You get 10 mini slimes and I believe they're all an ounce each. This one is a crazy slimy branded slime called Mini Mania Slimy Food Grocery Set number one. So they're all grocery food themed. All of them are inspired by grocery items, have different colors and different scents. There's a soda, spring water, jello, honey, slushy, peanut butter, sweet pickles, cheese crackers, cake mix, and ice cream slime. And you get two little surprises, which are charms. You get a french fry and a pink donut. I'll be starting off with the mini soda slime, which I believe is inspired by orange soda because of the orange color and the light orange scent. The scent though does kind of smell like it has a hint of peanut in it, but texture wise, they're all pretty much the same. But like all the other crazy slimy or Nickelodeon slimes, they are very inconsistent with their batches. So some are stretchier, some are putty like and don't really stretch at all. So I'm not going to go into too much detail about the textures since they're all pretty much the same except some are stretchier and some aren't. This one is slightly stiffer but still semi stretchy and it's ultra clear minus the little specks in it. The scent for this one, I can't really tell what it is but it smells like light sweet peanuts. Next, we have a slushy one, which I believe is a grape slushy, and I find it really cute how they all have matching containers. This one is a little stiffer and smells very strongly like sweet grape medicine. And they are a little hard to get out of the containers since they stick to them unless they're super overactivated like the jello one. The texture for this one is a straight up putty, so it doesn't stretch at all and is pretty rippy, but was very easy to get out of the container. This one smells like sweet cherry, which really matches the name. Next up, we have the honey one, and this one comes in an adorable honey container, and this one was definitely the stretchiest. So it makes it the best texture for stretching and bubble pops. The scent for this one, honestly, is probably the worst one I've ever smelled. It kind of does smell like sweet honey, but also very strongly like alcohol. I would throw in the trash, but I'm going to make a smoothie at the end. This next one is an ice cream one, which I believe is a strawberry one because of the pink color. The texture is super glossy, but it is pretty putty-like and rips, doesn't stretch at all, and does smell like sweet strawberry ice cream. This next one is peanut butter and smells just like peanut butter. It smells creamy and nutty. Texture-wise, it is a little rippy. Cake mix is the next one, and this one smells just like sweet cake batter. It has a light creamy yellow color and is super stretchy, very glossy, and really great for bubble pops. This next one is Sweet Pickles, and it has a light green color. This one was also pretty stretchy, so it was great for bubble pops. And the scent for this one really surprised me. It didn't smell anything like pickles, but kind of had a savory, salty potato scent. Personally, I like the savory scent since it really reminds me of all those other potato slimes that I've reviewed. And lastly, of the mini grocery slimes, we have cheese crackers. This one has a vibrant orange color. Isn't super stretchy, but it does have a pretty pleasant, sweet, and cheesy scent. Since these slimes are so small, I decided to make a little smoothie. So here it is. It makes a total of about 8 to 10 ounces of slime that is great for bubble pops and it turns into a red color that isn't all too bad. The resulting scent was surprisingly decent and smells sweet and fruity.
Next up, we have a slime from Ross, which is a discount department store that I never really knew sold slime, but when I was in a toy section, I saw some, so I thought I should include them in a video. Anyways, this one is called Mix In Slime Bucket, and I've seen this brand before at Five Below. I paid $6 for this one, and I believe the MSRP was $8, so I saved $2. It comes with a huge 14 ounce bucket of some pink clear slime or clear putty. The texture is definitely putty like, it's very stiff, doesn't stretch at all, and rips very easily. It's also not an ultra clear one since it's slightly cloudy and it is unscented. This slime comes with a ton of add-ins on top of the container and I decided to soften the slime up first before adding them in since I knew there was going to be a lot of fallout. I actually had to use a ton of glycerin to soften it up to make it this semi-stretchy texture. It pretty much turns into a chewy, clear slime texture that isn't sticky and is semi-stretchy. It comes with four different add-ins, flower females, some foam beads, and plastic beads. You have white ones and those rainbow colored ones to the right and you also get a surprise charm. I believe mine was a pink ballerina cat. After mixing it up you get a pretty cute pink bucket of slime with a variety of add-ins in it. I love the different colors throughout it. For six dollars you do get a ton of slime and a lot of add-ins and I think it is pretty worth it if you have softener on hand. If you don't I would tell you to pass since there would be too much fallout. Right now, there is a little bit of fallout with the plastic beads, but it's not too much. But once you do soften it up, it will become a more enjoyable texture. It's great for slower play, and it does make some nice bubble pops. Lastly, we have another slime from Ross. This one is a Play-Doh Super Stretch Slime. It comes with two of them and it was discounted to $3.49, originally at $4.99. You get two four ounce slimes. One is a metallic purple and another one is a light blue. I have tried the Super Stretch Play-Doh slimes before, but these ones felt slightly different. This one was super stiff or very jiggly. It wasn't as easy to stretch but it still was pretty stretchy but not in a normal slime stretchy way but more of like you're tearing it or you're just pulling it apart like it's elastic it is super jiggly and it does make these weird soft bubble pops it's not clicky but it is squishy there's also some wet residue when you're playing with it, which I'm not a huge fan of. And honestly, I also am not really a big fan of this texture. It's just not that fun in my opinion. And I believe these slimes are unscented, but there is a pretty strong unpleasant odor that comes off of it and kind of sticks to my hand. They kind of smell like old cardboard or some sort of recycling or I'm not too sure, but it is very unpleasant. The blue one was a lot stretchier than the purple one, but it was pretty sticky and I didn't enjoy playing with it. So instead of adding some baking soda, I just decided to add the two slimes together to see if they even out. It's kind of funny how the purple one is pretty stiff and the blue one is very soft and stretchy so it does pretty much even out. The final texture was a hybrid of the two so it was pretty stretchy, it wasn't sticky at all but it still has that unpleasant scent. Honestly, this slime isn't for me but it might be for you or for some other people and it is a really cheap price so if it interests you, it is still worth a try. That is all for the slime review video. I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!